It was devastating because I didn't want to spend another summer in Toronto. I wanted to get out of the city. COVID canceled Danielle Orenda's three-week trip to Europe in 2020. This year, she's planning staycations. If I can't taste wine in Tuscany, I can do it right here in Ontario. Based on Google searches, interest in staycations across Canada spiked the first week of January. That's when Ontario's tax credit came into effect. The Ontario government expects nearly 2 million families to benefit from this $270 million program. The tax credit can be applied towards accommodation within the province, whether that's a hotel, a cottage or a campground, and it can apply to a single trip or several. It will reimburse 20% of accommodation costs of maximum claims of 1,000 per person, 2,000 per family. The hospitality industry says it's a lifeline when many of the businesses are on the brink financially and emotionally, dealing with changing COVID restrictions, inflation and struggling to find staff. They are frustrated. They're angry. Omicron has been more impactful than anything else we've seen during this pandemic because they're tired. While the pandemic may be a terrible burden for some, it's been a boon to others. While folks are still generally staying closer to home within like 500 kilometers of where they live, they're, they're trying out new places. Ontario's staycation tax rebate won't be applicable towards many Airbnb homes, but they've already benefited from the staycation phenomenon. The pandemic has fueled interest in rural Canada, picturesque Prince Edward County, about two hours east of Toronto. There is world class in our backyard and always has been. And shining a light on that in kind of a tragic, awful time for our industry um, has been kind of that blessing in disguise. After five years of renovations, the Royal Picton Hotel opened weeks ago amid ever-changing COVID restrictions. It's designed with staycationers in mind. I really believe it will help kickstart that uh, tourism and hospitality economy. The hospitality industry says it may provide a 30% boost to revenue, but it took 22 months to get into this hole. It'll be at least another 22 months with support to come out of it. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.